needed, but we'll see. G2, they've come into every series prepared, and already they're going to get slaughtered. An aggressive start out from Gambit, fighting into middle, and it's left on to Kellogg's to really do some damage. Know exactly what control they've given up. They're holding forward, shutting him down. The Gambit, a lot of the time when it comes to their defensive sides, are fairly passive. He's away at this point. He would have been spotted out by that. Kellogg's is going to be able to find Chronicle, though. That's the main man on this A site dealt with. Nats is also going to be here, but a lot of his utility is on the other side of the map. A little bit close for comfort there. And we know that if they give too many opportunities for Kellogg's, in fact, the Vova's now found a gun. This is starting to fall apart. That Marshall, the one weapon invested into, is comes out of a round with four what? kills. And you highlighted Kellogg's as... Still a couple players to deal with. Though. Yeah, and the scary thing is it's both the Viper and the Cypher here. So there's so much utility. Kellogg's is just going to be picked out of the sky. Cage is being popped as well to give him a little bit more time to play around some of these angles. But Nats is going to get nice. dropped. Mixwell, he's found another and an afterplant is inevitable. Yeah, really? They're on the site when they had that eco. Oh, that is incredibly unfortunate. Red guard just walks forward. It's shut down through the door. Dade. And now he's going to try to stop those rifles from being carried through. The first dealt with a shot to the back of the head takes it. Now G2 have massively impressed me recently, but Mixwell won't be doing any impressing right here and now. The operator spotted out Red trying to finish him off on the site, but nothing is to be connected by that. Kellogg's surely not about to walk on through that wall. Uh, but there's a flank in play, and they have absolutely no... Oh, oh never mind! Redgar gets dropped! The reaction on Cole Dementa brings it into a pretty winnable round for G2. They're on the A site. The second flanker on his way. Nats, so left. late to the party. But that might just be the timing that they need. Surely it can't go wrong twice. Nats is going to land the shot onto Nuke here, but they need to now pick their battles. Which direction will they go in? Cold Amenta again drops one of the flankers, but they should know that Nats is still here. Information to be gone. And Kellogg's to support him, but it's only going to be the trade onto Cold Amenta, and Shados finds the... It's that play around middle by Cold Amenta I have my eyes on. These guys are playing more conventional, pushing towards the site, trying to see space, but I want to see what's Cold Amenta going to be doing as the round goes on and with two kills in their hands. I mean, now that question is null and void. They've got the site and the plant. I was expecting much more resistance out of Gambit there, and now we come into a 3v4 retake for the defensive side, and still Cold Amenta sitting down in mid, waiting to yeah. catch the rotations. Yeah, the fact is, even if he sees absolutely nothing, it lets the remaining players know that there can't really be much coming from behind. Nice shot from Defo. This operator has been one of the saving graces that he's had so far. And the peak out from UK is going to meet the same fate. It's now starting to fall apart a little bit for G2. Oh, the one thing they had was Cold Amenta's position being unknown. But in goes that ultimate from Cypher, the Neural Theft, revealing him. And they'll shut him down immediately. The flash out does absolutely nothing for Mixwell. And just in the nick of time, they will get the defuse. Another one round for Gambit. And that one actually started quite that round. Now they're looking for a little okay. bit more. And a mid split very quickly upping the pace. G2 looking at the B side for what feels like the first time in an early round. And they are not fighting finding any success, Redgar shutting them down, and Nats sitting in mid, holding that control, is ready to take a fight, but he does not even need to support his teammate. Redgar is just doing it all, and although he'll fall in the end, flip through mid, but they're watching this, they're ready for this, but over still connects the shot. A 1v4 turn 2, it's now possible for him to bring something back here. Uh, the snake bite down is actually going to stop them from peeking pretty much entirely. And if he gets to the site and puts down that ultimate, it could be scary. The wall up, but it's not in time. Nats shuts it. Catch them. No, a flash, in fact. Set to come around. He knows now they're going for the, for the orb. And unfortunately, it was Kellogg's able to dash away. Cold Dementa covering, and they've got their orb. But they've also got a pick to start the round off. That is fantastic for G2. I feel like you had to do that as a team. Like, it just the, the time it takes for you to flash and peek, there's already somebody waiting on the off angle, avoiding it smart from Cold Amenta, and he's already managed to find a second opener. Now, since he wins that duel, it looked like he was dead for sure. And, well, oh, speaking well, of another lurk. player who's dead for sure. That lurked. Absolutely fantastic. I, we know him for this when it comes to Viper. Strange to see it on an agent like Sky, but I love... As well as both teams just read into that. Like, okay, if they're going to be going for an orb, 
I'm gonna try. Actually still alive in the back of that. A little bit unsure how he's managed to survive, but the timing of that, he gets two kills off the back. Sure, he's traded out, but he was solo on HP. I don't think he'll care at all. We talked about him having a rough time. He certainly did in this round. Oh, look at that push coming up from Redgar. Great timing and a great kill. Coming out of the man himself. Sure, Shados falls, but a 3v1 spike down and Cole Dementa with it all to do. A big clutch needed, and Nats, again on the flank, is the one to close that out. Sight. And making G2 second guess whether or not that A site is really a weakness. Nats opening this one up. That is an aggressive mid fight. He just took out well, from exactly where we're seeing him, right? But Nuki is up close. And Nats Ooh. is ready. Now he's going to have all the information on where G2 are going, and these B site players, Chronicle in particular, the man. Who won out that previous round is going to completely stop them with this Viper utility. Yeah, this is the problem. Once the openers go Gambit's way, it becomes a lot more difficult. Nats is just so gross. Just repositioning and catching both players. He's going to go for the AC hits for Nick. Oh, that's heartbreaking. In their own terms, they start to play much more aggressive. And they've slotted out a couple of players here. The up trap just okay. about saves Defo. 20 HP with an operator. He's still going to be very dangerous. That ball is going to be coming down fairly soon. Kellogg's wants an advanced position for when it does fall. The flash through the peak after. I love that free control. But Redgar's conscious here. of it. He's very worried about a player already being close, and as Kellogg's comes out, is Redgar ready for this fight? Seem to be, but Kellogg's gets the better of him. 2v3. Oh, and he goes back through with the man advantage? That was a bit ludicrous. And now that could cost G2 heavily. Trying to clear out some of these back lines, positions. The Tiger will leave. Chronicle tagged. Can't quite run away. And now it's left all on to Defo. 7 HP to try and pull off this clutch. A 1 versus 2 and the time is ticking. He has to go now. It's the last round. There's no value of keeping that operator anymore. And I don't think he stands a chance in hell. One player may be dropped, but he does not know where Abova lies. And he does not have the time. It'll be a fifth round on the board for G2. And that one player... About to come under pressure. Yeah, this is going to be a big challenge for Evova, as you see, because he gets dropped immediately. How much control they've got. This is insane. Gambit have done practically nothing by the way of heads-up duels. And they've got the A site. They've got the plan. In fact, they look like the defenders. I am not sure if they'll be able to find a way back into this one. I'm also not sure if they'll even know how close some of these players are actually going to be. Defo needs to be cleared instantly, and that's exactly what they get. But there is a second wraparound coming through even later from Redgar. Again, this duel is going to be everything, and Mitchell wins that as well. Sure, it's traded out, but now they know where these players are going to be sitting. Kellogg's picks off another, but Chronicle and Nats are fighting strong. It's left all on to Nukia. He doesn't know where the remaining two are. Watches them wrap around, hits the dink onto the first, at least leaving him low, but the time ticking far too low. Chronicle, all he has to do is stay alive here, but I don't think he's got enough so time. Close. It's going to be close, yeah. but it isn't enough. No, just a second away, and indeed, 1.0 that they think this looks to be Gambits, right? And they one out the veto, and certainly with this surprise pick, let's see what G2 have in store. This is a round they desperately want, but they've lost Nuke here right away. The shot not quite going to connect. Mixwell spotted out, will be traded. Kellogg's does well to find one. That flank cut off completely. Shade us now all alone. The bonus round, but he's managed to get his teammates Vandal as he moves around the left side. The first kill goes his way, but Kellogg's is that little bit too quick. He's actually going to pop themselves to see. Give at least a little bit of information over if anybody was actually going to be close by. Obviously with weaker weaponry currently available, they might have tried to take some more aggressive positions. They're going to follow this up. Avova has to do an awful lot here. Sat at the back and he gets absolutely nothing. You can Kellogg's though have found a killer piece. Nice shot out of Kellogg's. Quick return though. Gambit right back. And Shados needs to cross over. He's thinking about doing it with a flash. Instead, he just goes straight in for the peak. Ten seconds left. They'll get this plant in just in time. The recon to catch him as he fades out. It's taken down by Red Dar, but now on 4 HP. He's the only hope of the team. The Vandal in his hand. He connects the instant headshot, but Mixwell. Perfect flash to close out the round. Set a little bit also means that we're going to see the operator around this time. You care. He's Pressure in onto that big side. Still no attention of where they want to go. And they just keep on finding picks. Defo is on one today. Like, land Defo just seems like a completely different oh, beast and of over. There's no chance. Absolutely none. They were waiting patiently. The Gambit default strikes once again and leaves. Just a couple left. 
That'll be an ultimate orb. Coming in at least. No, oh, he started he's to like, run. Oh, oh, it's a little bit awkward, but luckily Red Guard's there. There's Nats is already in their spawn. He's just running at him. Knife out. Kellogg's knows that he's up close, so that's a free frag. But how much more can he get? He needs to find so many kills if he wants this weapon for the next round. The cloud burst used to isolate some angles. This is something Kellogg's does so damn well. But in the end, doesn't look like he gets away with it. Double digits hit. Yeah, it means there's going to have to be some more aggressive positions held by Gambit if they do get into an afterplant. And we're actually going to see Hunter's Fury pop. They're trying to clear out the back corner, but there's nobody there, and Defo's actually caught looking to try and peek into the spawn. A five versus three afterplant is a really good spot for G2 to be in, so it's fine that they're going to get the spike down. Now this hold is going to be really, really tough for Gambit. Yeah, not only with the man disadvantages, but the utility oh. in play for G2. Oh, Mixwell up behind won't be able to catch them walking through elbow. This could be a big flaw now for G2. They're making a lot of noise in the connector. Gambit have the perfect timing on the flank. All they need is the player on site to stay alive, and he has done that. Chronicle picks up one. He goes out for more. There's the trade, and they're not ready for a second player. Shados, one versus two, but the spike is not planted for him. He needs to win the first, and he does indeed. Evolva sticking oh, it all the way to get there in time. It doesn't matter. Evolva comes off it to take the... That looks like the same sort of retake set up. Red guy is stuck in, he's weaving, he's trying to avoid the final tag, and he's not going to be able to. Again, an advantage in this retake for G2 as they make their move. Great call on the Hunter's Fury. They knew exactly where that plant was going to be coming in. Shock darts to the backside, tickling them up. But here's the man we talked about before. Nats on the flank. He can pick up a weapon. That was exactly where they are, running right on him! Taking down two, looking for the final player up behind him, and that duel goes their way nicely. Nukia, last alive, but he's pulled it into a 1v1. Defo, giving away his position on the backside. Nukia knows exactly where he is, but he's got to take him down soon. The time is ticking away! The jump, right click works out, but the round... G2 have pushed back out to maintain mid control. Oh no. Uh, not the best of trades. It's still a horrible spot for Kellogg's to be in, and eventually he's going to walk into the second player who'd come round from behind. Oh, what is up oh, oh, <laughs> Okay, it was Redgar getting the kill. I was about to say, that's probably the best distraction I've ever seen, and it was definitely an accident. Just dashes straight into his face. Yeah, I think it was a little late hitting the his A or his on ability. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Gambit seemed to be closing this one out. Obviously, G2 only had the pistols content to play for OT. Oh, it's literally the only place that offers multiple close-range angles, and Gambit, of course, did it. The only thing I will say is some of the classic slow round nuke here, the timing is going to be perfect! He's caught in the drone, and Chronicle isn't working! He couldn't have found better timing than that in any other possibility. Kellogg's, though, is under pressure. He needs some support, or maybe not. I think oh, the jewels! Just 4 HP remaining, but that... Turning from the flash doesn't help all too much when Kellogg's has teammates to help him. It's not, I mean, look at that, it's 25 to 15 right now. This guy is showing up on the Cypher to be once again. You know, they definitely are. Kellogg's is here waiting for them, though. Hunter's Fury deployed to Vova. Good to get one kill, but he'll be taken down right after. Quick trade by Kellogg's. And he's actually repositioning. They will never expect him to be here, surely. As he even closes in the distance, that operator going in for the aggressive oh, pick. No. But Chronicle is a little bit too quick. 3v3. Oh, same position as the previous round, and he gets the same result. Mixos on the edge, he can end a hit, but Shados expects the corner! It goes back to a 2v2, and now Coldamenta is actually alone. They know that he's still here. Now they're gonna Shock plant dart. within it. The shock darts will do at least a little bit of damage. Tickling train. them up, but here come the Seekers. They know that there's still a player within the site and the rotation's coming through. This allows them to take some control on the flank, and we'll now see that sneak up yeah. from Shados. Now Shados is so nasty, that wall up Nuki is gonna have to push right through it, and just, oh, he's gonna be spotted! Great angle from Chronicle, and he's just buying time at this stage. Shados now coming around to play this together. They drop the pin and close it. and Tom. Well, a big challenge, no doubt. It looks like some of the guys are walled down to look for a much more aggressive plan than what we normally see out of these teams. In fact, the updraft out of Defo is going to give good position, but Redgar falls way up behind. G2 having a flurry of frags going their way, but damn it, won't let it slip away all that easy. And Chronicle has snuck right up to the door. He is ready to catch them as they come on through mid. Oh, Nuke is going to go above him, though. 
Now, will he actually check this corner? That's the real question. Kellogg, Ooh! he's going to find the spike. spike that buys extra feet. time for Nukia to move, standing. but he doesn't know that there's a man right behind him, but they've almost passed like ships in the night. But Chronicle will be able to... Kellogg's backing off, though, still. They have managed to get an old orb over on the Gambit side. Shut down to Defo. A little bit more, maybe. But that Spectre picking up the frag. This sells a fake completely. They've used their ice wall. Multiple players were spotted, and now the pressure is on. Nukia needs to make a big hold as his teammates rotate around to help him. If he's caught up on top, he will be putting his team in a pretty rough position because he's now fallen. And Mixwell trying to fight his way back in. It's lit so heavy, he can't even try to make that fight. He does manage to escape, though. I believe that might be some extra HP given over via Vova. The only problem is that Redgar's also found that remaining player looking to try and push through. Shados above, he's spotted. Oh, oh, oh he's going to oh, jump oh, almost directly onto his head, going for the Goomba stop and leaving Mixor to try and save this. It's up for the other one at the same time, but that's not exactly gone to plan. They're getting slaughtered, leaving Kellogg's alone, and that is a beautiful hold coming out from that attacking side to make sure that they get nothing from it. Here. Now, the rotations come in, unfortunately, not really in a spot where the ultimate is now worth using. Yeah, that wall's going to be put down as well, so any sort of spam potential of Vova had completely out of the question. And a ranged fight. Last player standing. Not going to be ideal for Mixwell. He's not putting his wall down. He, for a moment he thought about it, was going to just push up, but he goes for the fights just heads up. And you <laughs> say it that way. Yeah, a lot of us came in saying that Gambit were going to be our, our saviors. Way back into the round. If he somehow spots Nats, it gives them a way back into the round. Instead, it just comes out to this moment, and oh, they've seen it! He's still going to get the come out with three! That's Ridiculous from Mixwell, leaving just Nats. He thought he'd given his team a free pass in towards the A-site. Instead, he sent them to their death. We thought Nats had snuck by Mixwell. It turns out it was the other way around. Nats now having to clutch this one out. No idea where Mixwell is, and the snake bite not quite clearing the angle. He's about to run to site reloading, and Mixwell what? completely whips Nats. Really? No way! Get out! Three kills, five rounds. There seems to be no way for Jeet. Well, by the looks of things, Defo's holding it with an op, and that's going to be the rifle dropped. Look at this, but I mean. Get out of here! Such the ruddiest rat. player I've ever seen in my life. The fact that he can look two kills. Why not? Yeah, give give him all of them. He's sitting in Sonic game. Look how slow of over walking. Oh, oh thank miss. God. Okay, thank God. There is some good left in the world. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Nats. We had the tweet the other day. If Nats has a million fans, I am one, and so on. We know how the copy pasta oh, did, goes. Did you but come up with that? I'm many times. I mean, I, I don't even it's know. Like the idea, you know, the game, and that's going to annoy a lot of people in Twitch chat, but it's the second you think of... Not really going to get away with anything for now. How? No, no, but no, no, but how? How? How is he there? How, how is he there? I don't understand! How does he manage to do that? And oh, he's going to get a kill on Mixos! What is this man doing? That is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. This guy, he, he's defining the word flank. I, I do, my heart goes remaining. out. You are playing Gambit's game at I this point. Down, Nats, he's even come on. Oh, he's come up behind for the third kill. <laughs> he's come up behind for the third kill. No finish off the wall. Bro, oh, come oh, on! Oh, no. Come on! He walks through his own poison orb and no gets way. the kill. Call Dementa. What's up, the recon? Just confirming they're still here. They've walled up. They're pursuing him. Gambit are looking so confident. But Kellogg's, he only gets the one. A res straight away onto Nats. They'll try to shut him down. Cold Demento with the Odin. And he gets dropped right afterwards. Nats falls, but comes right back to life. And breeds life into the game of Gambit here. Eight to zero. Looking for a ninth. And it is a three versus two. They need to deal with Nats. He's in their spawn right now. And he's the only player isolated as they try to go through tube. Down. Cross. Looking to try and take him out with a single bullet. Oh, they're always going to move oh. in a crossfire. It is perfect again. So Vova does have his res, but they haven't had too many opportunities to use it. Goodbye, Coldementa. He's gone already. The wall put in place, and I believe they're only spamming it with a Spectre, so I think they're actually going to be able to get the plant without any problems at all. There goes the Viper's Pit as well after they get that extra orb from the spike, and while well, Vova needs to find a kill here, and he gets nothing for it. Okay, Mixwell at least trades it back, but here's Defo, operator in hand. Barely looked like he even took the shot, and he was out of there. Bladestorm pop, they really want to secure this 10-0. He comes close, but he's just too low. 
With Mixwell walking through the Viper's pit, even after he finds the first, he's gonna run right into Chronicle, putting double digits up. Workable position, aggression coming through as well. Look at every single thing that G2 try to do. Gambit have an answer for it immediately, and Cole Dementa caught attempting a flank play. He's like, hey, I'm gonna take a- Has so much space to work with, which is an incredibly scary concept. Yeah, yeah, he has that normally, but... Now it almost seems worse, this duel is everything. Mixor can take him down, pick up a weapon, but of course he's going to get the drop on him. We're not even surprised at this point. Kellogg's in a 1 versus 4 to give them a round. He's been flanked! He gets the first kill. He's been shot in the back! He's found Natra behind. It, it's almost a miracle in itself, but I don't think it's going to save them. He needs to find three more players and... Oh, okay! At least to zero on their <laughs> map pick. Now... Nats playing in Nats, for anybody wondering. Gonna look to try and oh, find oh, Defo is still just so clinical, looking for the cross. Kellogg's tag, they're losing their lives. Three players remain. G2 being utterly humiliated. They'll get themselves a spike one. They'll give themselves a bit of hope, but Shados looking to drop more players. Another one falls. It is looking all but over. It's on to Kellogg's to give them anything.